Welcome to Advanced Brick Film Academy, where we will be taking your brick films to the next level. Today is all about ultra smooth stop motion using frame blending. You can see some of my examples on the screen right now. So for this project you're going to need Adobe After Effects, some nice looking footage that has no light flicker, and a lot of patience. So let's jump right into After Effects. So first create a new composition. I like doing my 1920 by 900. It gives a nice letterbox effect. But if you want regular 1080p, just do 1920 by 1080. And then on the frame rate, you can either do 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. I like this right here. It's just how I film. It's up to you, though. And then click OK. Then you're going to want to import your footage. Now here's one of the tricky parts. When you're importing your animation, make sure that you select all of them at once and then here's the very important part hit JPEG sequence down here which will put them all together and then hit open and bring that JPEG sequence into the composition so now here is my JPEG sequence now I am using the arm lifting because it will just be quicker than doing the whole walk cycle so I just have him lifting his arm here but here is my minifigure I'm just gonna position it a little bit like I want it now if I play it through and it renders and we watch it through it will be very very fast because it's gonna be at the full 24 frames per second so if I want to get it slower, I will right click and do time, enable time remapping. Now it's going to be slower, but then we're also going to have to make it smooth. So I'm pulling it out to about double the length and then pulling the whole composition out. Now if we play it and it renders through, we can see that it does about two frames every picture. So now it's about 12 frames per second on the animation. Now that's not very smooth and we're trying to get some smooth stop motion animation. So I'm also going to make the composition shorter by pulling this edge over so that when I export it it will be easier. Nice and short but that's kind of choppy so the whole deal here is to make it ultra smooth and it's in this button so click this button once, click it again, and it will frame blend all the missing frames in between. But if you want to be able to see it up here, then click this button. Now when you play it, you have to let it render all the way through. Now once it's finished rendering, you can watch it up here at the top. Now I did have it in full, so it's going to be full quality and a little bit choppy, so let's see. So if you look at the animation, there are these weird refracting moments, and that's because I didn't animate it smooth enough, and those weird parts when it tried to combine frames just didn't do very well. So still remember to animate very smoothly, and it will help. Now, let's say you wanted him to move his hand up really, really, really slowly. Well, instead of pulling it out this far, you could pull it out twice as far like this far and then just pull the complete composition that far and now it will be ultra ultra slow and smooth now if you have any light flicker or anything like that it's really gonna mess up how the frame works because here it's nice and doing each frame but then since there was a little jump right there it added this weird effect. Now if there was any light flicker over here it would completely mess up and you couldn't fool someone that you were blending the frames. Remember to ease in and ease out as you do this. It will also make it look very nice because when you're blending the frames it makes everything really smooth and you still want to make it look like there's motion happening. So if we watch this now that it's fully rendered very very slow so that's a really cool effect you can do if you want him to move his hand slow now one thing I do want to warn you against is never do camera movement when you're doing this effect because it will mess up stuff 
you can attempt to and sometimes if you keep one object in focus it will work a little bit but it's always very very difficult if you're doing camera movement but you can always do that digitally after add some camera movement in of it shaking or panning a little bit so just keep that in mind when you're doing your effect so to finish this out and render it just come up here and hit file export add to render queue now when I add mine to render queue I like coming in here in the output mode hitting format options changing the audio to AAC and the video to H.264 it adds the best quality with the lowest size file then just select the location where it says output to I'm gonna put it here and name it comp1 hit save and then hit the render button and just wait for it to load and then your animation will be finished and you can put it in another piece of software or put it in Premiere or put it back in After Effects with it fully rendered. So that's it for this episode of Advanced Brick Film Academy. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions about this episode or you want to recommend something for a future episode because that's when I'll make another one. If I get a good question about how to do this in an animation, then I'll make a video about it and you'll be able to check it out. So please leave a comment. Bye y'all.